What's up everyone? Today we're going to take a look at how I plan to rescue the aquarium in a jar. Yes, that's right, you heard me correctly. I said rescue the aquarium in a jar. Now, I've had my battles with the aquarium in a jar from algae overtaking the entire tank to corals dying in the tank and things just not doing too well. And a lot of that was based on my own neglect and not paying attention to the tank. So I picked up one of these, the Cobalt Aquatic Air and Rescue. Now this is a complete emergency kit for your reef tanks, but I'm gonna use it as the air supply to the aquarium in a jar. But first, let's open up this box and take a look at what's inside and what it's actually supposed to be used for. Let's take a look at what's inside. Now, first look here at the box. You have the rescue and air uh, complete emergency air pump kit. Let's take a look inside. Open up the box. Look at that. You have a nice little compact air pump right here. Now I really like the size of this. You can put it pretty much anywhere and it has a little clip on the back that you can clip it up, hang it up if you need to, or you can use the four legs and just set it down like that. Here's the power bank that is the external battery that you charge. Let me get it out of the packaging here. And again, this is nice and compact as well. Uh, you can see uh, I think many cell phone chargers has something similar to this size as well and it uses a USB with your little booklet on how to get started what everything does you're able to plug it into the wall right here and then this will go in the back of the air pump now they've also included an air stone as well as some airline tubing to use and this is the the nice flexible kind it's not the rigid kind and I really like that as well and everything fits in the palm of your hand. I mean, that is a plus in and of itself right there. Okay, so here it is right here, the Rescue Air by Cobalt Aquatics. Now, what is it good for? Let's say your the power in your aquarium goes out and your pumps aren't working, uh, the water has no motion to it, you have no way to oxygenate, oxygenate the water, you grab your Rescue Air, take your tubing, put it right here in the front, on the other end, you will attach your air stone, just like that. Take your air stone, put it in your tank, then you can turn on the rescue air right here. Now the unit itself can go full charge for 24 hours, which means once it's charged up, you don't have to have it plugged into the wall. It will run for 24 hours just on its own. And then if you want it to go another 48 hours, you'll grab your power bank for a grand total of 72 hours. Okay, so the Cobalt Aquatic Rescue Air is really good if your tank runs out of power or if you have a mason jar aquarium like me. So we're gonna go take a look at how I have it set up and how I got it running on the aquarium in a jar. So follow me, it's in the front room here. Right this way. Little noisy in here, we got the little one. Okay, so here we are in front of the aquarium in a jar, and you can see I have the rescue air uh, from Cobalt Aquatics hooked up. And it's real simple, I just have the, the inline tubing hooked up to the pump and in the tank to give it some oxygen so that it's moving the water. It's enough uh, flow that it moves the water around in the small tank, so I don't need that little pump in here anymore that I had. Now that pump was fine, but when you uh, ne neglect equipment, uh, the equipment's not gonna work for you anymore and it stopped working, so I had to get rid of it. And in its place, I used another bubbler. Uh, it's called a whisper, and this is what it sounded like. <clears throat> so yeah, as you can see, this is a lot quieter. It's practically silent um, due to the rubber feet that it has on the bottom. You can place it right here. I have it sitting right here 
uh, and it makes no noise at all. So this is the new thing for the aquarium in the jar. Uh, the rescue air is going to be the bubbler for me. Um, you can see I have it plugged in so that it's constantly on, but if you unplug it, uh, the battery lasts for 24 hours and then after that if you charge the power bank it'll give you an additional 48 hours. I know I probably covered that earlier, but up to 72 hour battery life uh, or you can use it plugged in like I have here. Now if you push the power button you can change from constant to a 10 second uh, like delay. So when you push the 10 second pulse, I'll show you right here, you push it it goes to 10 second pulse when it cuts off. Uh, wait 10 seconds and it'll cut back on. So let's take a listen. There you go, it's cut off and in about 10 seconds it'll cut back on. just like that. So what that can do is I believe it allows you to save some battery life if you're uh, using it in an emergency situation. You can have it pulse. So I'm still using the magnetic holder for that old pump that broke on me uh, to hold the inline tubing in place so it's not just floating around the top of the aquarium and that way I can control where I put the bubbles. Okay so what do I currently have in the aquarium in the jar? So Right now I still have zoanthids in there, I have a small Kenya tree frag, and I have some acans that I just added recently. Um, I changed up the aquascape a little bit because it kind of seemed like everything was just thrown in there. Um, and then at one point nothing was doing good, I was losing things, so I had to pull out those uh, mushroom corals and put them in the main display. Don't worry, I still have them. They're still there and they'll go right back into the aquarium in, in a jar as soon as I have everything under control and I know that it's looking well. Now you can follow updates with the aquarium in the jar. I'm gonna be more accountable to you guys this time so that way you can check in on the updates. I'm gonna post pictures on Instagram as well as update videos, but the best way to see updates on the aquarium in the jar and probably the easiest way for me to share updates with you is on Instagram. So follow the Coral Reef Talk on Instagram and you can see the pictures as updates come out. There you go, it's completely unplugged and it's still going and it'll last like this for 24 hours. It'll keep your aquarium going up to 72 hours with the power bank, the Cobalt Aquatics Rescue uh, Air, air pump is truly amazing I really like it and it's gonna rescue the aquarium in a jar and like I said follow the Instagram account for more updates as this reef tank progresses I'll be sure to post pictures there um, you guys keep me accountable if you're not seeing me post photos let me know in the comments send me an email message me on Instagram I'll throw some photos up there uh, we're going to keep this reef going and turn it into something beautiful this year or by the end of the year. So that's it for this episode. Uh, if you want to find out more information about the Cobalt Rescue and Air, go ahead and go to CobaltAquatics.com. If you learned something today, please leave it in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of the episode. Let me know what you think about Cobalt Aquatics' new Rescue Air air pump uh, to help save your reef in emergency situations. And if you're not a part of the Coral Reef Talk family already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free to do. And I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.